Alright guys, welcome back to Memories of Mars. I hope you enjoyed the very first video. Unless you're watching this for the first time, and in that case, welcome to this video. But basically guys, I was just watching the first video first, because that's what first videos are for, so you know what's going on. Because today, I'm going to do a little bit of building. So now I have this kind of outline here of where I can build, because I've learnt the foundations, but we have to use the welding tool in order to put it all together. So it's good that there's like an actual building mechanic rather than just crafting something and then throwing it down. You actually have to have a little bit more of a hands-on experience. And get this nice little outline, which I assume you can cancel, but I haven't tried cancelling yet. So you don't accidentally waste materials before you finish making it. I'm looking at you, Ark. Trying to place things down and they place inside things and whatnot. So I'm just going to make a modest base, because I am just on my own at the moment. Not enough resources, so we need to gather some more resources. So you can put down as many as you want, but you're still going to have to get the resources in order to carry on crafting. So that's one thing we've learned. I thought it, I f assumed it meant that that was like an amount we could get up to. But now we know, and knowing is half the battle, so we're going to have to go have some more materials before I can get... Uh, a little base going. Sorry, I was distracted by the blinking light in the background. So yes, from the previous episode, that is the Fortress of Doom over there that we will go and raid at some point as soon as we've got a little base going. I was having a wander around looking for some ore nodes and in this sort of enclosed area is some kind of, I don't know, presumably a, a place to see girls and guys. I don't know what it is. I'm just going to poke my head inside it and see what it is. Oh, God. There's a spider in here somewhere. Behind that desk. <laughs> oh, <laughs> scared the shit out of me. Oh, God. Get back here. Bloody acid spitting things. So I think this is some kind of like a hidden bar, as it were. That showed you. Soon sorted those guys out. Yes, now we have the extractor. We can get some extra stuff for here. Scrap metal this time. And some aluminium. Or aluminum, yes. I'm going to be quite over encumbered soon. What do we got in here? Let's just loot everything. Might as well while we're here. Fruit juice. Don't mind if I do. Anything else of use in here? No? Ah, yes. I'm trying to see stuff in the dark's not easy. Let's get the, the light on. That's better. That's better. I like to see what I'm doing. Biomass. Some loot from this guy. Ooh, he had some good stuff. Oh no, that was the cupboard. <laughs> oh, some good stuff in here. Take all the things. How are my trousers doing? Eh, might as well take it with me. Still got space. Still got space, so I may as well take. Unfortunately, no building parts. That would be nice. But we will get on with the the building of parts. So we can actually get a base underway. And have somewhere relatively safe to be. Because it doesn't stop creatures spawning near you. And it certainly isn't going to stop players getting in. Presumably if people are playing enough, they will find ways and means to get to you. Use harvesting tools. So there must be a specific tool to use against that. Ah, so we've got some flops. Don't really need the welding tool. Oh, are we out of space? No, we've got space. We've got space. Although I could put those flops together. So there's a few things that I could really stack together that are pointlessly um, stacked. Yeah, we'll leave that behind. There doesn't seem to be a reason to have more than one of those. So, just gathering some useful stuff. 
That's what looting's all about. I know we're going to base build, but... I couldn't resist having a look around when I found the place. So I thought I'd hit that record button and see what was going on. So I think, apart from the upstairs... That's about it. So yeah, there's like some stuff we can... Not salvage. Oh wait, is that salvaging? Ah yeah, we can rip cam fiber off. I'm not sure what cam fiber is used for yet, but I'm sure we'll find out. Excellent. So I cannibalize this building. Loot all. I'm starting to walk real slow now. Uh, some acid. Presumably that's going to be in batteries or something. Money. More money and more loot. More money, more loot. This place is great. Oh, Christ. I thought it was safe. Right, never assume. Never assume it's safe. <laughs> oh, med pack, I could do one of those. Right, so this is definitely not... Oh, it is used against these. You have to be stood just right. Well, now we know. Am I not stood just right? There we go. Although, apparently I didn't get anything. Ten flops. Presumably there'll be loads of flops around here. No, biomass. So it was a bit of a uh, some kind of uh, bar with a strip club section. <laughs> or at least a dancing section. Okay, so we got copper. More copper. Still more things to loot. Um, I'm going to run out of space shortly. Um, a spider's cropped up downstairs. It seems like enemies respawn. Like, constantly. Flashlight, biomass. I assume that's downstairs. It's not up here, unless it's on the roof. I really hope we can break items down, because there seems to be no real reason to pick up things you already have. So, loot all. I assume I have the space, because I'm still picking things up. So am I... Oh! Maybe your inventory never runs out. I assumed we'd be getting to a, a, an amount of slots and that would be it. Now I've scrolled all the way down. I don't know if it's going to let me carry anything else uh, after the fact. Christ, I can barely move. <laughs> Alright, let's fight our way back out of here and get back on to what we were supposed to be doing. Ah, so looking through the skill tree, there is a cutting torch. Mark 1. It's a salvage tool capable of harvesting resources from certain structures and devices. It may also be used on ores at reduced efficiency. So we'll save up our points, I think, and then get that. Because we seem to be running into things that we can't always harvest. So presumably that's going to help us harvest certain things that we haven't yet come across. Since we now know that that excavator tool is actually useful on the workstations and such. It just has to be stood just right. Hopefully they uh, iron that out a little bit more soon. Alright, back at base putting this bad boy together. We're going to need a lot more iron made. But hopefully we will get there. Oh, so close. So close. I, what I really need is a storage box so I can leave some of this stuff behind. And I think in buildings somewhere. Um, I may have to go on the skill tree and unlock it first. Uh, where are we? Is it under building? Uh, electrical? Storage box. 400? Large storage container requires two vertical walls. That's slightly more doable, but oh no. I have a couple hundred points to go through first. Ugh, that sucks. Um, 
Gonna have to dump some things, aren't I? I <laughs> don't really have much choice. Um, that didn't look like that a minute ago. <laughs> not, not sure what's happened there. What the hell? Oh, I think that's meant to be a crater from one of the uh, asteroids that came down. Oh, I wonder if it does it leave anything? Oh, hello. I don't know what it is, but we'll have some of it. Titanium ore. And iron ore. Nice. That is really cool. That is an awesome feature. I'm assuming you can get titanium other ways as well, but having an asteroid come down like that gives it an extra level of immersion, you know, apart from the angle that it's landed at, making it look a little bit uh, squiffy. That's a good word, squiffy. It's, um, yeah, if that was in the ground properly, that would be awesome. Uh, there is two of them. I don't really want to tango with that without any ammunition. Um, it's time to go. Well, guys, I've got a wall up, making a storage container. It's not going to be very secure, but at least I'm going to be able to dump some stuff. And then I'll be able to go out and get a lot of iron ore and bring that back. There we go, storage container. I don't know if that's going to be locked or what afterwards, but I'll finish making this wall here. And then that's it. We're out of the materials that we're going to be needing. So, let's deposit a bunch of materials that we don't really need on us. That's a hell of a lot of nitrate that's unnecessary. So it's not quite a base yet, but it is getting there. We've got the outline of what we want to build. We just need more... Um, Oh, did I accidentally put down two things? Yeah, because we don't want... We didn't want one on the, that side of the wall. Just just on the other, yeah. So we accidentally put two down when we're putting that together. So the outline thing is cool. Useful to see more or less what something's going to look like before you actually finish placing it. That's a really neat feature that a lot more survival crafting games really ought to have so you don't mess up something because you're gonna you're guaranteed to mess up at some point building so hopefully no one can actually loot my stuff I don't actually know all right guys here's the base a few moments later I haven't put my windows in yet but I can jump out of those until I do got a bunch of storage containers going on the walls you can't put much in these versions but it's enough for now for me to offload a bunch of stuff and this is the maintenance terminal where you put in a, a little bit of your flops, your currency, to pay up to a certain time before your base can be demolished by other players. And speaking of which, that base that we've been passing quite a few times, that can actually be demolished. So I'm going to go get myself some free materials off this base that's been abandoned over here, or at least not been paid for. And now this dude had a bunch of stuff going. Just got to watch out for the uh, sand snakes over here. They, they may come over to me to pay a visit. Looks like he just killed himself at some point. That is quite a lot of snakes. So yeah, I'm able to walk straight in there because he's not paid for its upkeep. So I'm going to demolish this first. Uh, there we go. So I'll get some iron and some aluminium. Aluminium. So that's nice. Take his cloning chamber as well. I just got to be careful of these snakes when I leave now. If I make a hole in the top of his roof, I'll be able to shoot down at them in relative safety, I think. So what else have we got in here? His storage containers I've already emptied. But it's some free iron for me. So what I'm going to do now is put these shutters in. That's cool. 
But then we'll leave one without a shutter so it can just leap straight out. So it can open shutters to shoot out should we need to. And then if we need to leap out. Nice. So we can surprise the enemy. I wonder what that looks like at the other end. But uh, we need to learn staircase, I think, to make that a bit smoother. Well, guys, there she is, my little base. It's not quite finished yet, but as you can see, there's numerous windows for me to shoot out of should I come under attack by, well, any spiders in there or any players looking for some PvP. It's all going to get wiped, though, I think, that tomorrow, uh, unless they change their mind, so everybody will be starting off a fresh bit. I thought I'd just show the base off anyway. Not that it's anything special, but the idea is going to be that uh, once I put the roof on, there'll be a platform for me to stand up on the top as well. But it's mostly so that, obviously, I've got somewhere safe to retreat from. Uh, retreat to and store my goods. But there's just the roof to finish off. Again, I could have more storage and stuff on these walls. But I do need to finish off the ceiling. Again, not that it matters greatly with the wipe, but it does need a wipe. As we'd all have this unfair advantage of being able to play early on. But I think that's going to be about it. It's not long until midnight, and I don't know if it's going to be exactly midnight, but they do say that there's going to be a wipe. So, who knows? I don't think I'll be keeping any of this stuff, but guys, if you've enjoyed the videos, do consider subscribing, because I'll be doing some more on the game. And leave a like and share it with your friends and stuff as well. I would really appreciate that. And love you all. See you all in the next one.